In this video, we're going to take a look at Aristotle K-12 Borderless Classroom. Aristotle K-12 is a collaboration tool that provides teachers with greater control over Chromebook usage in their classrooms. Teachers are able to monitor and collaborate with students in real time. This includes historical reports that capture student technology use in your classroom, allowing for teachers to review usage after the class has ended. Let's take a look at how this program works. Teachers will find Aristotle K-12 on their Google Dashboard. You can locate that here. Simply click on the Aristotle K-12 application, choose Sign in with Google, authenticate to your account, and Aristotle will open up. Once Skyward begins syncing our classes, teachers' classes will all be populated here. You do not need to manually create any classrooms or add students. This will all be done for you in the background. Looking at our dashboard, we can see th this class that I have created here. From here, we can choose to edit settings or open the classroom. For now, I'm going to open the classroom so you can see what it looks like. I will see my students populated here. This red icon indicates that they are not currently connected. As the teacher, I can go up and start a session immediately or set up a schedule that automatically starts and stops my classes for me. For now, I'm going to start a session on my own. By clicking Start, I'll see my student desktops load inside of my classroom. Once I see, see my students' dashboards, I can see the live screen that they have available directly on their student cards here. On the right-hand side, I have an activity feed where I can see all of the different things that are happening, websites that are being opened and closed. I can also choose to select this tabs inside of my feed so I can see how many students have which tabs open. So let's say I want my students to be focused on a specific website. By looking here, I can say, oh, we have one kid that has ESPN open. This isn't something we're currently working on, so we're going to go ahead and close that for that student. You can see here that it changes on the dashboard. I can also say I want everyone to go to the same exact website. So by clicking open, it'll open all my students to that same website. So this allows me to quickly and easily send all students to the same place, refocus students, or even close websites that they don't need to have open. By clicking on a student's screen, on the right, I can, I can see all of the tabs that they might have open. By choosing Focus, I can redirect them back to a website. I can even close websites for individual students or all students at one time. If I select Multi-Select On, I can choose multiple students. Maybe I need to pause what they're working on entirely. We can click this Heads Up button. I have an optional message that I can add here. And when I do this, the student's screens will be blacked out and they'll have a message pops up that says, please look up. I can then ed he end heads up and allow students to work again. Now let's say I wanted to re redirect all students to their Eduphoria login page to take an assessment. I can simply click open tab, paste my URL and select open tab. This will force all students to the tab that I've indicated. One of the most frequently requested options is to have a lockdown browser when students are taking tests. This can be done in a couple different ways. First, there's test mode here, which allows us to go to a specific URL. And then I can choose kiosk or full browser. If I choose kiosk, I'm preventing students from accessing any extensions that they might need for accommodations. So instead, I'm going to choose full browser. And then I can indicate what actions I want to take place and click start test. This will force all students to that URL and will not allow them to navigate anywhere else. I can also choose to end test when I'm finished. Now another option we have is to apply an outline. We can create these at the district level or you can create them on your own. We have one called Aware Online Testing. When I apply this outline to my class, students are limited from opening any more than one tab. However, I have unblocked any URL that they may need while taking an Aware test. This will also allow students to continue using Read and Write for Google for their accommodations. When I am finished, I can choose to remove the outline and allow students to browse as needed. When my class is finished, I can then choose to release students, or if I set it up in my schedule, my class will automatically terminate at the end of the schedule. 
Alternatively, I can go to settings from my menu here and set up the different settings that I want for my classroom. How many maximum tabs they have open, who can join my class. I can change the colors of my courses so that way I can differentiate for, between them easier. I can see my class roster. I can temporarily add a co-teacher or a student if say if they are visiting my classroom. There are also notification settings and class notes that I can choose there as well. We also have the option of using the lecture and conference features. However, we will not cover these in this training. When my class is finished, I can choose to end class to terminate the entire class for everyone. Remember, you will not need to manually create any classes. These will all be done for you based on the information that's in Skyward. I can choose to edit my classroom settings without opening my class or open my classroom and edit settings without actually starting the session. Students cannot be monitored when they are not in the district, so you will not have access to students when they are at home. Also, Aristotle K-12 is only going to work on district-managed Chromebooks, meaning if any student brings their own device, you will not be able to monitor them in your classroom. Scheduling classes can be accessed inside of the class's settings menu. Teachers do not need to sit behind their computer screen to monitor students. Scheduling your classes allows them to start and stop automatically. This means the historical reports will be capturing all of the student data even when the teacher is not actively using Borderless Classroom. Every student has the Aristotle K-12 extension installed on their district managed Chromebook and that captures this data. You can then review historical reports at a later time as needed. You should absolutely continue using the teaching methods you're familiar with. Students are not monitored on personal devices nor when they are not on the district network. Additionally, Borderless Classroom is only available for use during school hours Monday through Friday. You can set a default class duration here under your settings menu, or you can choose to schedule it by day to automatically start and stop. This may be a challenge for our secondary teachers that have A days and B days that do not fall on the same day each week. You can still set a default class duration for these classes and then manually start it each time. Historical reports can be accessed from your teacher dashboard once your class has ended. It may take 5 to 10 minutes for these reports to show up. You can select historical reports on that dashboard, select the date on the calendar to see all of the class sessions that have run that day, and then select the session that you want to view and see each individual student's user activity. You can also choose to print this report, which will export as a PDF, that way you can save this file to your computer or share it via email if necessary. For additional help using Aristotle K-12, please access the help menu from your teacher dashboard. The help menu offers two different help guides. You can click on the tutorial or frequently asked questions menu. From this help menu, you can browse the table of contents and be led virtually through using the program. For frequently asked questions, you can then navigate to the different common questions that teachers have and determine what you may need to do. For additional help, you can submit a help desk ticket or reach out to your instructional technology specialist for more support with using this program.